Welcome to the spoken tutorial on WHO Length for Age Z Score Growth Charts. In this tutorial, we will learn about Z Score Growth Indicators, the plot points for growth indicators. Growth charts have been introduced in the percentile growth chart tutorials. Please watch them before watching this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will discuss three types of Z score growth charts. Each growth chart is used to measure a specific growth indicator. Growth indicators are used to assess growth. They take a child's age and measurements together into consideration. The first growth indicator is length for age. The second growth indicator is weight for age. The third growth indicator is weight for length. These indicators are plotted on growth charts over weeks, months or years. This helps us to identify any growth problems. It is important to use growth charts as per the child's gender. In this tutorial, growth charts used are for children from 0 to 2 years of age. They are from the World Health Organization, also known as WHO. These growth charts are available on their website www.who.int. Please select the appropriate charts as per the child's gender. Download and print them. Next, let's learn more about the first type of Z-score growth chart. It is the length for age growth chart. It is used to plot the length for age growth indicator. This indicator can help identify children who are stunted or short. Such children might have had prolonged undernutrition or repeated illness. Children who are tall for their age can also be identified. In these charts, the horizontal reference line at the bottom is the x-axis. It shows age. Exact age is plotted in weeks and months from birth until 2 years of age. The vertical reference line on the left side is the y-axis. It shows length in centimeters. The thin grey horizontal lines represent an increase in the length by 1 cm. Let's go through the steps to plot length for age in these charts. First, mark the exact age, months and years on the x-axis with a point. Then, mark the length on the y-axis with a point. Extend it over the connected horizontal line till the marked point for age. Extend the marked point for age over the connected vertical line. The point where the two extended lines intersect is called a plotted point. For every child, points are plotted over weekly or monthly measurements. Check whether a plotted point seems sensible. If necessary, remeasure the child. For example, a baby's length should not be shorter than at the previous visit. If it is, then one of the measurements was wrong. Let us use an example to understand plotting on this chart. This graph shows Alia's length for age plotted three times over a few months. At this point, Alia was 3 months of age and 64 centimeters in length. Now, here at this point, Alia was 70 centimeters in length at 6 months of age. Finally, here at this point, she was 78 centimeters in length at 1 year of age. So far, we have learned how to plot points on a Z score growth chart. To interpret these plotted points, we need to understand certain terms. 
The first term we will discuss is mean. Mean is the average of a set of numbers. Suppose we measure the height of three children in centimeters. The numbers in this set are 50, 60, 70. It is a set of three numbers because we measured the height of three children. So the mean or average of this set will be 50 plus 60 plus 70. That is 180 divided by 3. So the average height in this group of children is 60 centimeters. The second term we need to understand is normal distribution. This graph shows normal distribution. Here we can see a set of numbers plotted that form a bell shaped curve. The peak of the curve is where the mean of the set of numbers is. The distribution is symmetric about the mean. Half the numbers are on the right of the mean in this graph. The other half of the numbers are on the left of the mean. Most numbers in the set collect around a central region that is near the mean. Then the numbers taper off as they go further away from this center. The third term we will discuss is standard deviation or SD. SD is the average variation in a set of numbers on a normal distribution curve. It shows on average how close each number in the set is to the mean. SD stretches or squeezes a normal distribution curve. A small SD means the numbers are close to the mean. It results in a narrow curve. It has a high peak and a small spread. A large SD means that the numbers are generally far from the mean. It leads to a wide curve. It is more flat and widespread. The fourth term we will discuss is standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is also called the Z distribution. It is a special normal distribution. Its mean is always 0 and its standard deviation is always 1. The fifth term we will discuss is Z score. It is used only in Z distributions. It shows how many SDs away from the mean each number in the set is. A positive Z score means that the number is greater than the mean. A negative Z score means that the number is less than the mean. A Z score of 0 means that a number is equal to the mean. Any normal distribution can be standardized. To do so, its values are converted into Z scores. In growth charts, children's measurements are converted into Z scores. The mean or zero Z score represents the average height or weight of a child. It is shown by a green colored curved line. There are four curved colored lines on growth charts. These curved lines show selected Z scores. They are minus 3, minus 2, 2 and 3 Z scores. Minus 2 and 2 Z scores are shown by red colored lines. Minus 3 and 3 Z scores are shown by black colored lines. These Z scores help us identify growth problems in a child. Let us understand the definition of growth problems using examples. Moderate stunting is when the length is plotted between minus 2 and minus 3 Z score lines. Severe stunting is when the length is plotted below the minus 3 Z score line. In this chart, Anjali's length is plotted below the minus 3 Z score line. It means that she is severely stunted. 
only 0.1% of children should be below the minus 3 Z score line. In this chart, Praveen's length is plotted on the minus 3 Z score line. It means that he is severely stunted. In this chart, Rosie's length is plotted between the minus 2 and minus 3 z-score lines. It means that she is moderately stunted. Only 2.1% of children should be between minus 2 and minus 3 z-score lines. In this chart, Arjun's length is plotted on the minus 2 z-score line. It means he is moderately stunted. In this chart, Neeta's length is plotted between the 0 and minus 2 z score lines. It means that her length is in the normal range. 47.7% of children should be between 0 and minus 2 z score lines. In this chart, Bhushan's length is plotted on the 0 z score line. It means that his length is the average length among the children of his age. Average length from birth to 2 years of age is discussed in another tutorial. In this chart, Veena's length is plotted between the 2 and 0 z score lines. It means that her length is in the normal range. 47.7% of children should be between 0 and 2 z score lines. When the length is plotted above plus 2 z score line, the child is tall for his age. Only 2.1% of children are above plus 2 z score line. Tallness is rarely a problem. In some cases, it may indicate a hormonal disorder. If needed, consult a doctor to assess the child. The second Z-score growth chart is called the weight for age growth chart. The weight for length growth chart is the third Z-score growth chart. They are discussed in another tutorial in the same series. Growth problems are also discussed in the same tutorial. Please visit our website for more details. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.